Well, flying isn't always the most fun experience. No. You know, the seats are small, the snacks are stale, the lines are long. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> That's if you like it. So reclining your seat a little bit might provide you some comfort, but not to the person right behind you. So take a look at this viral video. A woman you see there in orange, she reclined her seat, but it made the man behind her very upset. He eventually started taking out his frustrations by continuously punching her seat. Yeah, this was on an American Airlines flight from Nolens down to Charlotte. And the woman said the man first punched the seat, then he started jabbing it. A flight attendant was eventually called to sort this all out. Yeah, the woman now wants to press charges for assault and have the flight attendant fired. She says she has back issues and limited movement, and him punching her seat could have caused damage. So she took a selfie, essentially, of the, of the gentleman there poking the back of her seat. That's as she so had annoying. And the deal was that he was at the back of the plane, so he couldn't recline his right, seat at all. So right. he was kind of, you know, if you're in the back, you're kind of locked in there. And she, not that you're not, you're allowed to recline your seat, as you see there. He just didn't seem to like it that much. But why can he say hi? Can you put I your seat up a little did. bit? Oh, I, he did? Yeah, I think that's missing from the story. Oh, okay. I think he did ask mm. her to put her seat up while he was eating. Oh, okay. And he did, and she did, and then after that, then she hmm. went back again to recline. And I, I just, I, I guess he was like, you know. Really frustrated, obviously. The, the, and that there's just not enough room on those airplanes. Yeah, there's no, no there's maybe they simple. shouldn't have that back row there. Yeah, they well, shouldn't. Yeah, maybe they shouldn't allow the row in front of the back row to recline all the way either mm -hmm. so that the people in the back row are like. Yeah, you're all claustrophobic. They, the airlines just need to adjust for a little more elbow room. Yes. You, you know, too. So It's about the money, Sherry. Okay. <laughs> is it? It is frustrating. Though. How, it I, is. I, I feel guilty. I don't put my seat back. Even though I'm taller, I'm usually I'm a crammed into my seat, yeah. I feel bad about putting my seat back, even if the person in front of me puts their, you know, the back of their head yeah. right in my face. Everybody feels differently about that. Some people say, I'm getting my money's worth, yeah. man. I'm tired, I'm reclining. Mm -hmm. Other people feel like you. They're just like, oh, I'm, you know. Yeah. Well, because the person behind you might start kicking your seat. Oh, well. yeah. And then what do you do? <laughs> yep. No. Well, and it's frustrating, because every time we have a story on this, it seems they're trying to pack more seats oh, in there and make sure more are. people fit. And it's like, <laughs> people don't have room and you're paying money, you're paying a lot of money to be on those flights. Mm -hmm. And I think so. they're going to start charging for air. <laughs> yeah, right. Every yeah. breath will cost you. Yes, that's 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is it, they charge you each breath is like an extra different <laughs> tier. You get a tier. Your flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First class air, second class, I see. Oh my gosh. Well, let I us know what you think. I hope not giving them any ideas. Yeah. No. <laughs>